gonna do circular nim. Nim is that glint game where uh, you start off with a certain number of things and you take turns taking away some and whoever ends up with the last one wins. It's that classic game. What's different about this one is the tiles, or in this case, we're just gonna use paper and pencil. The, th the, the shape is arranged in a circle. All right, make the circle. All right, so you just need a circle. And then uh, I'm gonna put uh, spaces and I can put as many as I like yep. around the circle. Yep. It doesn't really matter how many we're doing there. Now, okay, the game is we're gonna go back and forth, back and forth, crossing off circles. We can either cross off one or two circles at a time. And the only rule is when you're crossing off two circles at any given time, they have to be adjacent. like these two, but I can't do like this one and that one. So they always have to be adjacent. So do you want to go first? Yeah, but who's going to who's gonna be the winner? Oh yeah, the winner. The winner is whoever crosses off the last circle wherever that circle is. Got it. All right. You're going to go first? Yeah. All right, go. I'm going to do one. Woo! I'm going to get aggressive and I'm and, it, and I can do any of them. It, I don't have to do next to where Emily went. So I'm going to cross off these two. Me too. Ooh, Go I'm going to cross off this one. Mm, this one. Ooh, now see, that guy's kind of isolated and that guy's isolated. So, like, if I wanted to cross off two, I could do these two, but that's about my only place. Uh, me, you, me, you. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to cross off this one. And now? And then I'm going to cross off this one. We know who the winner is. What? Bam! And that... <laughs> is how you play Circular Nim. Uh, basically, you draw a circle, you draw a bunch of other circles, the, the actual number of circles doesn't really matter. You go back and forth, crossing off one or two at any given time, but when you cross off two, they have to be adjacent, and whoever crosses off that last one is the... Winner! Winner! So this is another opportunity for you to do some recreational math, and we're hoping that you go have some fun with your families.